Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix World War Z aftermath is having an issue with crashing. It is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening on how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work now. So the first point is all about, we have to always start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go to the power icon over here. Do a restart. Once a restart is done, most probably we need to check whether the issue is solved or not. If still, if there is an issue, we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is, we just need to go over here. We have to move to the next step that you can try one by one. So the first one we have done with the restart, that is fine. Next one, we can try this one that is giving the commands in the launch option. So to can give the commands in the launch option, just go over here in the game. This is the game, right click, go to the properties, go over here and this is the launch option. So here we have to give the first command that is DX level. You have to start with DX level. If DX level is not working, we have to start with DX 12. Sorry, 12. If DX 12 is not working, we have to start with D3, B2. Try with D3, B2. So BX11, BX12, or we have to start with B3, B2. Once afterwards, close this and try and launch the game. And before moving to the next step, make sure that you have to remove this. Remove this and close this and try and the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to perform a clean installation of graphic drivers from both NVIDIA and the AMD. So I'll be providing this particular link in the description so you don't have to worry, that will take you to this. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just go to this particular page and you have to scroll down and navigate to here. So make sure that you have to select the GeoForce over here and you have to select based upon your PC's configuration. So mine is GeoForce RTX 15 series and here we have to go for NVIDIA Ge GeoForce RTX 5090 and Windows 11 and everything, go for find. Once afterwards, we just need to keep scrolling down and we have to go over here. And if the system is based on the latest version, you can download this one, which is around 844.62 MB. You can click on the view and you can download this driver and you can download this and install or in the .ac and do a restart afterwards. If you're on the AMD, just go to this particular page, which I'll be provided in the description as well. We have to set your configuration based on your PC. And once afterwards, we just need to go over here and we have to download and install the driver. So if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. Now go back to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So to do this, we just need to go over here, close everything go over here search for the graphic settings and click on this one now we have to add the game so right now you can see we don't have the game so just click on the browse and before that make sure one thing just go over in the game right click go to the properties go to the installed file and make sure where the game is installed so right now the game is installed on local disk b which is around 66.71 gb so we have to download this one now we just need to go over here click on the browse now navigate to the local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find World War Z. This is the folder, WWZ. Now we have to go to this particular folder. This is not this one, just go to this one. And we might be able to go to this one. We go to bin, PC, and this is the application. So what we need to do is just go to this particular page, sorry, folder, select this one, go to client, Go to bin go to pc and select this dot exe so this is around 40 450 something which is huge so you have to select the dot exe and add it now you can see it is added just click on the option now from here let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save now save it now we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the key next one is all about we just need to go over here and we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the from the installation folder and we have to run both the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here in the file explorer now from here navigate to this pc which is local disk d 
steep library, steep apps, go to common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate at this particular page. Go to E N U S this page. Go to the client bin. Select this one. Now from here, you have to select this one and right click. You can show more option properties. Go to compatibility. And first, what we need to do is we just need to run this program in the compatibility mode, which means we have to set this to Windows 7. Go for apply, or you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply. Make sure and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Now we have to check. After running the game in the both the compatibility and running the game in the .exe, try. And also instead of launching it from the Steam, you can close the scene and try launching it from here. That might also work in some cases as well. Try launching the game from the installation folder. Next one, we have to go over here and we have to go to the next one. That is all about we need to allow the game to exe file, which means allow the game to antivirus security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. Now we have to click on this one and navigate to uh, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for I love an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to add the key. So it is, if you scroll down, it could be somewhere else here. So the World War Z is already added. So you have to make sure that you put a check on both the boxes that is private and public. Now we just need to close this. So if you don't find the game here, we need to click on the change setting. Go to allow another app, go to the browse, navigate to this PC, lock it as D, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Scroll down and select this one. Go to EN, client, bin, go to PC, select this one and we have to open a directory. We'll be getting the error because the game is it's already added. So just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one, we need to verify the game file. So to do this, just go over here in the Steam. Go to the Steam, right click, go to the properties, installer file, and just click on the verify game file, which will be cross checking every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted, and if any files are missing, and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So it is going to take a bunch of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just skip this part and we move to the next step. So let's move to the next step. That is all about, we need to delete the saved config file or we have to rename or delete the saved game file. So which will be using all the property of game progress. So we just go over here, go to the file explorer, navigate to the documents, go to my games folder. So if you find the folder here for the World War Z, delete the respective folder. And keep in mind, when you do this, when you delete it, you'll be losing all the progressions. That's what you have to do. Close this and try to launch the game. Still, if you have the trouble, we need to try install the Microsoft Visual C++. So I think I have provided this in the description, which I'll be giving in the description. So just go over here. And if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. And if the system is based on x86, you can download this one and install, restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. We just need to go over here. Some steps, I'll be skipping this up. We can close all the overclocking applications such as MSA Afterburner, Arivar Tuner, remove the underwood if it is there, disable the Steam overlay, close all the overlay apps such as Discord, GeForce Experience, Nvidia Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay, etc. So just go over here to the task manager and go to the task manager over here. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually the reason one way or another for the, this kind of issue. So just go over here. If you find something like Epic Games Launcher, Discord and all those things, just remove these. You have to remove all these things. Once everything is removed, we just need to close this and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to increase the virtual memory. As you can see, we have to increase the virtual memory. So what I need to know is just go over here, search for the view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced settings, advanced, go for the change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk. So right now you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, it is D, so I have to select D. Now go for the custom size and the initial size, which is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size three times the total RAM. So just go over here, we need a calculator. So just type your calculator. Now just type it, that is 16 GB is my RAM. So I have to type 16 GB. 
multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 24 5, 7, 6, and we have to paste it next one is multiply 16 gb we have to get the maximum size that is 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and paste it so once every value is being set just close this and try lunge the king Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to go over here. So make sure the Windows is up to date and all those things. So just go over here. You can search for the settings. Just click on the settings. You can navigate to the Windows update. Just update your Windows. That's what we have to do. Last and the least step is all about. We need to uninstall and reinstall the game, which even help with many users. Just go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game. Now you can reinstall it back, but it, by reinstalling it back, as you can see, you should not be installing back the game on the same local disk. You have to try either E or you have to try C. You should not be installing back on the same. That's all you have to do. And I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification.